80% of you watching this video are already being outwritten by AI and you don't even know it. AI, 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 AI. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing because I'm about to show you how to use AI to your advantage to create hundreds of viral tweets in only one hour of your time. But don't get me wrong, this isn't another generic YouTube video talking about ChatGPT and asking it to just create a thousand tweets. This is highly personalized content that's specific to you and your industry. It's the type of content that makes you stand out from the competition and get more followers and make more money. I've learned this AI knowledge over the course of literally hundreds if not thousands of hours of research and have perfected it by using these exact frameworks successfully on dozens of client accounts. It's allowed us to double the frequency and quality of our content that we put out for our clients. Collectively, my agency has generated over 10 billion impressions, 2 million followers, and more importantly, 10 million plus dollars in revenue on X alone. So I'm gonna show you which AI tools are the best for writing and the exact types of content that's working right now and prompts throughout this entire video that you can copy paste to blow up your Twitter account. If you're still watching AI writing tutorials from a few years ago, you're already falling behind because it's not the same as when ChatGPT first dropped. There are already certain tools that myself and my team use to create the highest quality content and I'm gonna show you that in this video. A common mistake a lot of people make when using AI prompts to create content is they just ask it to list out like eight red flags or list out top 10 tips for anti-aging or something super simple like that. What it does is it leads to really bad and obvious AI content. And I actually have a few examples here that are super easy to find on Twitter and nothing against these people, but these are just like the most AI slop threads you could possibly find. Like. 12 body language hacks every masculine man should master and then it's just like a super super regurgitated thread and they throw in some TikTok clips and it just has no substance right and here's another one eight red flags and men women pretend to hate and it's just very obvious that it's ai slop if you look at every letter capitalized in the sentence and it's a perfect list everything looks perfectly structured as it should be and there's just no substance it's super shallow and this is what happens when you just use ai with no actual frameworks or guidelines and consumers are more aware than ever when you generate content with AI, you can scroll through any comment section of a thread like this and just see everyone just absolutely shitting on the creator and just saying that this is AI slop, this is probably some VA, etc. So you don't want to do it. It's going to harm your brand more than it helps. And even at my agency, when ChatGPT first dropped, we didn't really know how to use AI. And we tried to get it to generate content just raw with no training. And what it does is it generates threads like this. But even worse is it tries to generate more like a blog or more like an article instead Instead of a true viral threat. And the last thing you want to do is try to create these copy paste one size fits all approaches. So what you need to do is you need to create specific style guidelines for your industry and your niche and find viral frameworks that have already worked for the people you look up to and inspire you and then reverse engineer those and add in your own personal touch, your own personal expertise. And you can put all of this into your prompting to create enriched AI prompts. And before you get started with AI, you need to actually know which tools you need to be using. And at my agency, we literally are generating thousands of posts per month for our clients. Like I think it's literally 84 posts per month per client. So quite literally thousands of posts. So I've distilled it down to the most important two tools for you to start writing with AI effectively. And the two tools you're gonna need are Claude, and Aqua. And the reason we chose these tools is because we've split tested dozens of different AI writing tools, including Claude, Grok, Gemini, Perplexity, DeepSeek, ChatGPT. There's too many AI tools to count. And we found that Claude has the best writing principles at its core. And as well as the project functionalities allow you to really enrich a lot of that data. Aqua allows you to actually speak into your microphone and create super long in-depth prompts in half the time if you were to type them. For me personally, whenever I'm writing prompts, like I can't write enough detail and it just gets super tiresome. But when I use Aqua, it's like four times as fast and I can just add a lot of that detail that's really gonna get those prompts to create amazing content. And in just a few seconds, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get started with those two tools and create content for yourself right now. Now, before you get started creating content, I wanna ask you a simple question. What actually makes you follow somebody on social media? For example, if you're following a business leader on X, you're only gonna be following them because they're providing some sort of value, some sort of expertise or some sort of insight. Or maybe you relate to them on a personal level, or maybe they're just giving you the answers to your immediate questions. And that's why you need to split your content in between 
five core pillars. And the pillars that I like to use are the pesto pillars. And I go over this briefly in my previous video, but it's personal, expertise, social proof, trending, and opinions. And between those five pillars and the various content types like tweets and threads, you're able to have an enriched content strategy. And everyone knows how to just write a tweet. Everyone knows what a thread is, but I'm actually gonna show you how to research viral frameworks from people that you look up to so that you can reverse engineer it and apply it for yourself. So let's dive in. And before I show you what a good AI prompt looks like, I'm gonna actually show you what happens when you just put in a generic prompt to create a viral thread. Okay, so if I go in Claude and I just create a new chat and I just say, write me a viral Twitter thread about Michael Jordan. What it's gonna do is it's gonna create a thread and what it thinks is a viral thread about Michael Jordan. But what it doesn't know is how to correctly format a thread for virality. So as you can see, it's just putting out this AI slop, super long sentences, not catchy at all, and a horrible hook. And a lot of times when you prompt like ChatGPT or Claude, it's just gonna give you a thread on what it thinks works because it's actually just scraping the algorithm for blog posts on how to write a Twitter thread and it's super corporate and it's just gonna be absolutely Absolute slot. And now that you know what a bad thread looks like, I'm going to show you how to write a good one. And in order to do that, I have to go to my actual agency files and go through one of our client projects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a style guideline that is going to create a banger thread for us about Michael Jordan. So in order to create a Claude project, you're going to have to get the premium plan. I think it's like 20, 30 bucks a month. And as you can see in one of our clients projects, and this client makes over 200 K a month just on X, you can see all of the files that we've uploaded to his project this super in-depth project instruction that goes through his voice, his backstory, how to write tweets in his language, everything you would need to go viral. And this is a client that I've been working with for over two years. And this is what it looks like when you kind of get to that final boss of how to use AI. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take one single piece from his project instructions and input it into a new project and show you how powerful it can be. And this is a style guideline that you can get copy paste in our XMBA program. And it's super, super simple. So I'm gonna go to create a new project. I grab the style guideline, just gonna name it test project. And I'm not even gonna add a project instruction. What I recommend is going to the project instructions and actually telling it what you want it to do. So I'm just gonna go to the files, add a text content, paste these style guidelines, and we're good. Now comes the fun part. This is how you actually research viral frameworks from people you look up to. So in the business niche, uh, a big name is Cody Sanchez. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Cody's profile here on Twitter. I'm gonna click the little search button. I'm gonna hit this command, which is min underscore faves. And I'm basically just gonna be filtering for tweets that have over a thousand likes. And what I can do is I can click latest to make sure that they're actually recent. And I can just scroll through here. And since I wanna write a thread, I'm gonna pick the most recent thread that got over a thousand likes. So this was, as of the day I'm recording this, five days ago. I can click this. And if you have X Premium, you can actually use this little thread reader button and it lets you copy and paste the entire thread without having to skip over everything. So I'm just gonna scroll here. I'm gonna copy this thread. Don't worry if it copies some of the names, not a big deal. It missed the hook, so I'll make sure I copy paste that as well. Paste. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use Aqua Voice to actually input a prompt that's going to create a viral framework for me so I can copy and paste my information to create a thread about anything I want. Analyze the thread below and create a copy paste fill in the blank template that I can use to create a viral thread just like the one below. Make sure to capture all of the details the hook and all of the places where I can input new information to create a viral thread framework using the one below and I can write it about anything I want. Create brackets everywhere where I need to input new information. And now I'm just gonna let Claude do its magic. The leverage ladder framework, interesting. And as you can see, if I really wanted, I could export this framework and turn it into a thread framework that I can use on any account in the future. But what I'm gonna do is actually a little bit different. I'm gonna go through the style guidelines that I uploaded before, and I'm now gonna cross check it with this framework to create an enriched viral framework. Cross reference the style guidelines that I uploaded to your project knowledge and use this viral thread framework to create a viral thread about Michael Jordan. And here we go. Don't fail me. And now the big difference with this thread is as you can see, it's much snappier it's written like it's a world-class ghostwriter. And it's in the exact framework as that viral thread that I just took from Cody Sanchez. And as you can see, it's a proven framework that has already went viral for someone else in my niche. And it's about someone completely different. I don't even know what the thread was about that she wrote. Oh, Taylor Sheridan. I don't know who that is, but I know who Michael Jordan is. So now where the real sauce comes in is I don't just have to write threads about other people. I can actually input information about myself. So what we do, is we can take podcast transcripts, sales transcripts, story videos, anything that our client provides us, and we can upload that to cross-reference with the style guidelines to create viral threads about anything we want. 
So for example, if I had a fitness client and he did a podcast with somebody and he talked all about the principles of anti-aging, I could go find a viral threat framework from a top personality, maybe Brian Johnson, and just input that new information into the viral threat framework. And as you can see, it's super, super powerful. So now I have a perfect viral thread in a viral framework about a famous person that I can go post on my account. And now the most important thing here, you always wanna double check all the information because sometimes AI likes to make stuff up and I don't have any source information. So it's pulling all this from the internet. So please double check or you're gonna get community noted. And all of this was literally off of one style guideline that I uploaded. And as you can see in our client's projects, we have hundreds if not thousands of lines of information in our guidelines. On that thread, I literally had one style guideline uploaded. So once you have a fully enriched project within Clyde, you can create hundreds, if not thousands of tweets within seconds. And that's what allows you to create unlimited content in just hours per month. And listen, I could end the video here, but I actually have a little bit more sauce for you. I'm actually going to show you how to schedule this content and use automations to get even more performance from your content. So now we're going to be using a tool called Hype Fury, and this is a tool that we use to schedule all of our content and use automations to our advantage. So as you can see, you can schedule all of your content in here. And this is a paid tool. By no means do you need it, but I definitely think it can help. So this is a tool where you can schedule all your content three times a day right here, as well as find all of your most viral tweets and reverse engineer them and upload it to those cloud project files. So for example, you can go down to analytics and I can go down to all of my tweets in the last 90 days and filter by how many impressions they actually got. Now what I can do is I can go up here and I can export this as a CSV. So I can export my last 90 days of tweets, for example, the top 10 and upload those to my Claude project knowledge and actually enrich that project data even more. So that's only writing tweets that have been verified to go viral. So for me, for example, in the last 90 days, I'm probably going to take these five tweets that got over 10,000 views and I'm going to upload those to my project knowledge and call it proven tweets or tweets that did well. And now my cloud project's gonna read those, analyze them and add it to its knowledge so that when it creates future tweets, it's just gonna create tweets that have already went viral. And listen, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm not gonna go any deeper on this video alone and I do have an agency to run. And if you wanna go even deeper and want more information like this, I highly recommend subscribing to my newsletter. The link is in the description. We send weekly emails going over AI prompts, growth hacks and sales tricks for Twitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.